Hello, this is Vampire. Uh, before I start today's lesson, let me uh, first uh, make this uh, a notification here that the Professor Bram Frank's website has changed. So it is now www.commonsenseselfdefense-streetcombat.com. So the dash is new. So they, uh, they had to change websites. And in case you're wondering, Professor Bram Frank is a uh, Filipino martial arts expert and he designs uh, knives and training knives and they are specifically uh, designed for self-defense and uh, also you know these are uh, the knives that incorporate the Filipino martial arts technology so if you're interested in that please please check them out so anyway, for today's lesson, uh, what I wanted to get into was the flail. And not just any flail, this is my personal favorite flail, which I have found to be the best suited for me. So I'm here to share that with you guys. Okay, so first off, what is the flail? Um, we got to start with the angles of attack. So the angles of attack is our forms, okay? And there's a lot of them. And the main thing to understand about the angles of attack is that it's pretty much a single stick or a one-handed attack. And you're doing all these kinds of patterns, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, you know, it, it has all kinds of these uh, specific sequences depending on the form. Like I said, the, the form that you know compared to the form that I know compared to the form of somebody else might be totally different. You know, there's, there's a bunch out there. Um, now, when we go to the flail, uh, we're going to have to make some adjustments. And the angles of attack is pretty much designed to have a lot of variations and for you to adjust and make your own. I mean, that's what I really like about the art is that it pretty much allows that and, and it's expected of you to do that. So when we're going to go from angles of attack to flail, flail is for self-defense. Fla the flail technique is for real life situations. So there's two things that you really need to focus on to do the flail technique. Number one is the speed. You're gonna have to do it rapid. This is, this is not like the normal angles of attack practice where you, you, know, you could go smooth and nice and easy like this. No, you got to go fast. All right. Number two is with the flail, it's going to be continuous because the focus is on the rapid fire attack. So those are the two things, the speed and the continuous rapid fire attack. Okay. So just keep, keep those two in mind. That's what makes a flail the flail, right? So there's, pretty much any kind of pattern you can think of that that fits those two criteria, it could become the flail. But, and, and also it is single-handed, right? But um, the one that, like I said, that I found to be the best for me is this. First, we're gonna start off with a diagonal down, diagonal down, and then a side to side. Super basic, okay? So just one, two, three, and four, okay? Now, once again, I, I said to you guys, this can be adjusted big time. So what we're gonna do here is we're, right now I'm focusing on here, right? Most of the time you are. You're gonna strike with this area of the stick. That's uh, where the power shot is. So you're going one, two, three, and four, right? So we're gonna change it and focus on here. Not here, but here. I know that seems like a small difference, but it actually changes the body mechanics. So when you do that, it becomes one, two, three, four. And that's it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. So when we go to the knife, you're going to see one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Because I'm scraping with the blade here and here. That's my side to side. Rather than going like this and like this, focusing on this area of the blade, okay, the belly area, I'm just going here and here. One, two, three, four. Believe me, nobody wants that to their face. I wouldn't want it. So even though it's not 
as good of a cutter as going like this, trust me, no, nobody wants this done to their face, okay? So one, two, three, four. And it's super fast, and you could do it over and over again, okay? Now we're gonna add one more technique to that pattern, and that is this guy right here. That is the circular motion right here. One, two, three. Circular motion right here, so you go boom, 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 boom. Right here, boom, 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 boom. This circular motion also allows for a nice um, rapid fire attacks. So now let me do that empty hand. So empty hand, it's gonna be one, two, three, four, and then go into my circles. One, two, three, four, circles. One, two, three, four, circles. One, two, three, four, circles. Right here on uh, Stickman, one, two, three, four circles. One, two, three, four circles. Let's go with the blade. With the blade, you can see one, two, three, four right here. One, two, three, four. As you can see, it's relentless. It is going to be relentless. And with empty hand, uh, it's very, very easy for you to go boom, 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 boom right here and connect it with your boxing. One, two, three, four, boom, boom, boom. Or your heaven six. Uh, or other arm waving type movements. So it, it's a nice way to start from here, boom, 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 and then go into something like this, or come out to here, boom, 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 and go back to this motion again. Now you want this, as you're seeing right now, it's gonna be done quickly, and it's gonna be done rapid fire, so you want this in your muscle memory. And the best way to do that is just repetition. So when you're going into town, grocery shopping, or waiting at the bank, I want you guys to just practice this. Just go diagonal, diagonal, side to side, and circles. Diagonal, diagonal, side to side, and circles. It just looks like you're just listening to music while you're standing there, but I'm going diagonal, diagonal, side to side, circles, one, two, three, four, circles. One, two, do both, both arms, okay? Side to side and circles. One, two, three, four, and go to circles. So you're getting a ton of reps this way so that you could do it in your sleep. You could do it even if you're like maybe they spiked your drink or something and you're not completely conscious. You could still do it because you put in so many reps. It's almost like a default. It'll just, bam, 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 bam. it'll come out no problem. So definitely, please, I think it's really worth the time, so put in the repetitions. That's it for now. Thank you for viewing, and take care, folks.